This video is on identity and access management. Identity and access management is a security framework that ensures right people have the right access to the available resources. To authenticate oneself, usually one would need a username with a password. In the modern world, we use multi-factor authentication, which requires users to enter more than just username and a password, like a code that comes to your phone or an answer to a specific question. It can be something you know like one-time password or answers to security questions or something you possess like a phone that can get messages or USB smart cards. And it can also be something you are like your fingerprint or your iris. Sometimes passwordless authentication is utilized which is an authentication method that doesn't require something you know like a password. In the modern world, single sign-on is heavily utilized, which is a user authentication service that creates a session upon authentication and use that session for the different individual platforms. You will be able to access multiple systems that uses this scheme without authenticating multiple times and brings numerous benefits like simpler administration, better network security, and reduced IT costs. We also have federation, which does the same thing. The key difference between the two is single sign-on authenticates a single credential across various systems within one organization while federation offers single access to a number of applications across various enterprises. For specific users with admin level privileges, privilege access management is utilized. Any accounts with elevated capabilities like root users require extra care due to extra risk they pose. So privilege access management is used for heightened security to prevent credential theft. Privileged access management tool simply monitors attacks and prevents unauthorized privileged access to certain resources. Cloud Access Security Broker is a policy enforcement point that can be used to secure data, govern usage, and protect data and prevent threats. It is utilized when you leverage cloud in any shape or form. And it is simply cloud-hosted software or on-premises software that allows organizations to extend the reach of their security policies. Yeah.